even have these clips. I'll put these in. What does this do? Ew, no. <laughs> Ew. Everything was different yesterday. Everything was different yesterday. Feels like a lifetime away. Even if I was to fly away. Hi guys, it's been a while. I can't remember when I last uploaded a video or what it was. I'm gonna check quickly. I'm pretty sure I had long hair. Oh, it was three months ago um, when I was in London. So yeah, a lot has changed since then. First of all, I chopped all my hair off. It was a lot shorter, um, but my hair grows really fast. So it's, it's catching up again. I also cut the front bits off myself. These bits were just getting so heavy. So I did a bit of a cut at the front. I mean, I've done worse jobs. I cut a fringe in once when I was drunk, so I think this is probably the best I can do. It's currently minus two. With the wind chill, it's minus eight degrees here, and I'm not gonna step out the house all day. FYI, I'm still at my parents' house. I've been here for almost a year now. Hopefully, we'll be moving back to London the minute the lockdown is lifted, but who knows when that's gonna happen. So yeah, it's really cold. I'm not going outside all day, so I'm doing some activities to keep myself sane. I'm gonna make some Valentine's cake pops later, but first of all, I wanted to do some makeup because I can't remember the last time I put makeup on. I think it was New Year's Eve. So it's been about a month and a half. So I brought my makeup in here today and I'm gonna do my go-to look. Yeah, before I get on to my uh, makeup, I guess I can talk through what skincare I'm using at the moment. Because it's changed a bit. I basically become obsessed with Fresh as a skincare brand. I've used their soy cleanser for about a year now. But I've added a lot more of the products to my skincare collection. I have the Fresh Kombucha Cleansing Treatment which is a makeup remover and no rinse cleanser. I use this if I put any makeup on or if I'm too lazy to use this, I will use this, which is great. I've added the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Glow Juice Antioxidant Face Serum, which is what is giving me this glow right now. This is amazing. It's probably the only skincare brand aside from Glossier that doesn't break me out, so I'm basically buying everything that they do. I also got the Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Boosting Face Mask. It's like a orange jelly, and it basically just brings a bit of life back to your face. I bought the Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Face Wash. Just on my pores, again, a bit gunky. And then my favourite thing that I bought from Fresh, which I've used three times already, is the Black Tea Firming Overnight Mask. This is incredible. My skin has never felt this baby soft before. I think this is the Chinese New Year limited edition packaging, which is stunning. But you put this on before you go to sleep as it's an overnight mask and it just it makes your skin feel like silk. And it also has firming effects, which is great because I am going to be 28 next month and need to stop the aging process. Uh, yeah, everything else is pretty much the same. That's all the new stuff that I've bought recently. Oh, also TikTok made me buy this. The Paula's Choice Exfoliate Liquid Exfoliant. Um, so when I finish my Glossier Solution, I'm going to try this out and see if it's worth the hype. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to start with my makeup now. But I'm going to start with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base um, as my primer. I was using the Glossier one for a while. I came back to this because it hadn't had any love. So yeah, whilst I'm doing this, I might as well tell you what has been going on in my life. So since the last time... I uploaded a video. I left my old job and now I'm two months into a new job, which is really exciting. I'm just gonna put on some of the Becca first like primer filter. Just 
because it gives you a really nice illuminating glow. I don't know if I said, but I used to work at Estee Lauder companies. Um, I was the PR assistant for Glam Glow and Bumble and Bumble, and it was the best job I've ever had. I was there for two years. But when COVID hit, loads of things started to change and it just wasn't fun anymore. And I have a new job, but um, it started whilst in lockdown, so everything's been done over Zoom. So it's a bit strange, but I know the minute lockdown is over, it's gonna be really, really fun. Okay, to make my skin even more glowy, I'm gonna add the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury, this is shade two and just put this basically all over my face. This just brings me back to life. Okay, where's my brush? Bobbi Brown foundation brush. Yeah, so that's what's going on on the job front. What else have I been doing? <laughs> I'm kind of on a fitness journey right now. I have kind of yo-yoed quite a lot with my weight over the past two years. I got down to like my dream figure two years ago in 2018 and ever since then I've kind of like gone up, gone down, gone up, gone down. And then over Christmas I kind of like blew up again. So I'm back on my fitness grind and I've been doing some really fun workouts and I think they're working. My double chin seems to have gone so I think we're getting there. Oh, foundation. I've been using a new foundation, which I got just before Christmas or just before New Year, I think. It's the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude True to Skin Natural Glow Foundation. I'm 2.5 in this, I think. I've loved this since the minute I put it on my face. I think the Anna edit was talking about it and that's why I purchased. So I just put it on my hand if I was wearing fake tan, I would probably add in a few drops of the Drunk Elephant um, Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. And I'm just going to dot it on my face. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I've been doing some fun workouts. Mainly the 12 330 TikTok famous workout by Lauren... Um, I can never say her surname. Geraldo, 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 something like that. I'm just gonna blend this in with the Smashbox Stippling foundation brush. So yeah, 12, 3.30. It's 30 minutes walking on an incline of 12 on a treadmill on speed three miles per hour. And it's a killer. It's amazing. So I've been doing that and then for the month of January, I set myself a little exercise challenge. It was to do 100 burpees, 100 uh, squats, 100 press-ups and 100 sit-ups every weekday in January. So I completed that. So I ended up doing 2,000 burpees in the month of January. <laughs> which was hell on earth, but I did it and I feel the strongest I've ever felt. And then aside from that, one of my brother's best friends is a PT and he's been doing live fitness classes on Instagram every Monday, Wednesday and Friday and doing those as well. I've just like become a beast. You can't see because I still have a lot of fat on my arm, but I'm getting like really big muscles. <laughs> Even though like the scale hasn't changed, I just feel so much fitter in myself. But it's just my diet I need to get better at. <sighs> Not eating snacks. I've given up fizzy drinks um, during the week and I'm only letting myself have them on weekends. I'm just drinking water or squash during the week and I'm hoping that that will make a big difference. I'm now gonna do concealer gonna do a mixture of the Glossier Stretch Concealer in G10 and Light. I'm gonna take the Smashbox Blurring Concealer Brush and just do this, and then do this. Before I left Estee Lauder, I actually got to work on Smashbox for a bit, which was really fun, and I absolutely love their 
makeup brushes. I think they're my favorite. Okay, then do my contour with the nude sticks, nudies all over face color in Bondi Babe. I use this pretty much all the time. Just put it in these areas. I did buy some other bronzers just before Christmas, which I want to give a shout out because they're really fun, but they're just a bit too dark for me right now. Number one is the Bare Minerals Faux Tan. It's like a powder to cream. This is really cool. And then the Chanel Soleil Tan Bronze Universal Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream, which I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of this summer, but right now I'm still using my nudie stick. What brush is this? MAC 187. I need to get a new one because it's starting to molt. This one. Maybe I did buy a new one. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I've got these crazy baby hairs that just, they don't know what to do, like these little ones. And they just They'll, they go like this and I, I just can't control them. Warmed up the face a bit. And then I'm just going to powder my face a little bit with obviously the hourglass ambient lighting powder in dim light. I'm just going to take this Bobbi Brown powder brush. Just mainly put it where I get oily. Now I'm going to do my eyeshadow. I'm not going to do a lot, but I'm going to use the Too Faced Shake Your Palm Palms little eyeshadow palette. It has some really cute colours. That I haven't used that green yet, that sparkly green. Maybe I'll do a little bit now. Probably not. So I'm going to use this colour called Get Laid Over. Okay. <laughs> and just put that all over. Good. Put it on the lower lash line too. And then I'm just going to do a tiny bit of that pink there called Do Not Disturb. And put that in the middle of the lid. It's just so quick and easy. Okay, now I'm going to do mascara, and I've been using a new fun mascara. I mean, I still use the, gloss, the Glossier Lash Slick, which is the hardest thing to say in the world. But I've recently been trying the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara, and this is really nice. It's the first non-waterproof mascara I've used in ages. My lashes are problematic, to say the least. And I usually need waterproof to keep them up, but this seems to be doing the trick, really. Yeah, I really like the mascara wand on this. It just coats all your lashes so easy. See? Before, after. Lashes done. Okay, I'm going to do my brows. I'm just going to do a quick spoolie action with the MAC 204 and then do the Glossier Boy Brow in... Oh, it's clear. I thought it was blonde. So yeah, what else have I been doing? I've been doing a lot of online shopping. <laughs> like, loads. I can't tell you, like, the stuff I bought. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I mean, I just um, bought a hair crimper from Tony and Guy yesterday. It should be arriving from Amazon today. It's usually TikTok that's making me buy stuff. My life just revolves around TikTok. No app has ever understood me like TikTok does. It just gets my sense of humour. I'm having a bit of a bad day where I miss kind of the old life. I just go on TikTok and it makes me feel better instantly. So yeah, I bought like <laughs> the hair crimper. I bought the Dyson air wrap set. I bought so many clothes, I bought so many shoes. Oh, I bought a new bed. 
um, which is coming next week, I think, from Soho Home, and I'm so excited. I'm gonna buy new bedside tables, new drawers. I've kind of completely taken everything out of my bedroom. I'll show you after I finish this. Um, and just revamping my whole life, basically. I got rid of a ton of stuff, a ton of makeup, a ton of clothes. I'm just replacing them all now. It's fun. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm just going to bronze with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in shade 2, using that MAC 187 again. I like to do it across the nose, so it looks like I've been in the sun a bit. I'm now going to go into blusher, and I have been using something a little different. This is the Body Shop Lip and Cheek Stain in the shade Red Pomegranate and Pink Hibiscus. There we go. They're liquid blushes and lip products. And basically what I do is just put a little bit of both on my hand, mix them up a bit. I don't know if there's any more colors of it, but um, I wanna get every color that they make because I just love this product. I saw that Nikki Makeup uses this, so I'm gonna use it now. And I'm taking this Smashbox Cream Cheek Brush and just, Stipple it on basically. It just gives a really nice flush. It doesn't look that, that good on camera, but it looks really nice in real life. And then I like to put a bit on the top of my nose, give me a little sunburn effect. Okay, but then it's like stained on your hand for the rest of the day, but it's fine. Cool. What's next? Highlighter. I've just been using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I think I got this from work a while ago and I just, I need to start using it because I don't think I've even touched it um, that much. I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush. Remember this? I still use it all the time. Lovely. And then the only thing I've been using on my lips for the past like six months is the Bobbi Brown Extra Lip Tint. And I have six of these. Raspberry, Bare Punch. I don't think I've used this one yet. Bare Nude, Nude Color of Bare Pink. That's one of my faves. Bare Blackberry, that's a fun one. Bare Melon which is really nice. They're like the Glossier Generation Jeans, but they're not matte. They're like moisturizing. So I think I might try that Bare Punch. Um, my lips are so crusty and dry at the moment anyway, so this is gonna help. It just gives them a nice little tint. You see? Cute. And yeah, that's everything I do for my makeup if I ever put it on. I think I went like 270s with this haircut. Yeah, a bit like Bee Gees style. I even have these clips. I'll put these in, what does this do? Ew, no. <laughs> Ew. Okay, I'm gonna try and start filming some more videos again because I really miss it. Um, maybe I'll do a hair tutorial soon, maybe with the Dyson Air Wrap. And then when I get this hair crimper, maybe I'll have a little play with that. And yeah, hopefully soon I'll be moving back to London and I'm actually gonna be moving in with my best friend, which I'm so excited about. We've been best friends for like 10, 11 years, I think, and we've never lived together, so I'm so excited. Um, we're gonna find a cool apartment. We're gonna be single sisters on the town and I'm so excited. But I wanna do maybe something with my hair. I wanna do an updated skincare routine because I've started using like all these weird tools to stop the aging process and I wanna show you what I've been using. This one I love at the moment for the neck. Okay, I'm gonna go now because the mention of cake is now making me really hungry. Okay, see you in my next video, bye.